episode 15 of Trev's Hockey Show here on Trev TV. It is but a flesh wound. Figure it needed a backdrop. It's starting to look more like almost like an actual man cave, like an actual film room. Actually, it's my dining room. But I'm getting completely off point here. Continue with the trend of predicting the 2018-19 NHL season by division. We're rocking the Metropolitan today. And of course I'm going to wear the defending Stanley Cup champs. Because why not? Now keep in mind, like all my prediction videos, this is just my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong. It's just my opinion. And it's my predictions. So we'll see how it goes down. First and fourth overall in the league. Pittsburgh. They're pissed. They're angry. They had their chance at a three-peat. Gone. Thanks to the Caps. So damn right they're going to want it back. They're going to play with a lot more grit, a lot more determination. I mean, you still got to see if Sydney's going to stay healthy or not, but I mean, that's Sydney's problem, not everybody else's. Second in the Metro. Washington. I don't think it'll be so much cup hangover as it is adjusting to a new coach. I mean, it would have been nice for Barry Trotz to stick around, but, you know, things happen, and the, no, I don't necessarily have to say they're right or wrong. I don't have to agree with it, but you know, it would have been nice to keep Trotz along. On top of that, you know, Grubauer's gone, but that makes room for Samsonov. So hopefully he's a competent enough backup for Holpe and can take him right back to the dance. I'd love to see them repeat. Whether or not that happens or not, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, I'm sure. Third in the Metro, New Jersey. Taylor Hall ain't done. Not by a long shot. He's got more to prove. He's got more to show off, and he'll do just that. And it'll take Jersey right to a playoff spot. I mean, sure, it might be against Washington. But it'll take them right to a playoff spot. So New Jersey should thank, wake up every day thanking Peter Shirelli for that trade. Number four. And this will be a wild card. Flyers. Now, I know Flyers fans will be like, no, 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 we're, we're going to be first and yada, yada, yada. We're going to kick so much ass. And you probably will. You know, like you guys only know how to. But Giroux, him at his 100-point season last season, really was a good thing. Will it be enough to lead him to the playoffs? Absolutely. Why couldn't it? Will he do 100 again? I don't know. If not, very high 90s, I would hope. You know, provided he stays healthy, of course. And that's always a key component in anything, is the health. Fifth, of, fifth in the Metro... The Rangers. Now I know you're looking at the whole Metro lineup saying, how can you pick the Rangers over Columbus and the Islanders? Okay, well, it's simple. The Rangers are still rebuilding. They'll be rebuilding for at least another year. Maybe next year they'll get to the playoffs, but not this year. I mean, they'll do a lot better than most other teams. Detroit. <laughs> but they're not going to the playoffs. Not this year. I mean, it sucks for Henrik. You know, I'd love to see him go on another good playoff run, get maybe get himself into a cup final again, but if anybody ever deserved it, it's definitely Lundqvist. Unfortunately, he's stuck on a rebuild. Number six. And I was kind of tossing and turning on this pick. Columbus. And it's not because they're going to suck. They're not. They're, they're a good team in a better division, but they also have distractions. What's going to happen with Panarin? What's going to happen with Bobrovsky? At the end of the season, I don't think either one's staying. I think ultimately they're going to think they can negotiate with Bobrovsky and he'll take a better deal. I mean, who wouldn't? Panarin, I think, is going at the deadline. He'll be a rental until he goes somewhere else. Probably back to Chicago. My prediction. Number seven. And finishing 28th overall. So third last in the league the New York Islanders they got a lot of good things going for them except one piece they got a new coach in Barry Trotz it just came off of winning a cup 
You know, he's been coach of the year candidate how many times? If I'm not mistaken, he's won coach of the year. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But he's never come to a team that lacks that one superstar. With Tavares gone, there's no selling point for the Islanders right now. So they're going to have to accept that it's going to be a rough year or two, maybe five, but they should be used to that. Either way, the Islanders are going to suck. And eighth in the Metro, or 30th overall, so second last, Carolina. There's still so many pieces in Carolina that haven't been moved. When you look, when you come on to compare rebuilds and breakdowns and all that stuff, and you want to look at Ottawa, Carolina, Carolina is going to do much better than Ottawa, but not by much. At the end of the day, though, I mean, they'll get themselves a high lottery pick. They won't get number one, regardless of how the lottery works. It's going to Colorado, <laughs> either way you look at. It, but I'll get into that in my Atlantic Division video. But yeah, there's my eight picks for the Metropolitan. So as always, I want to thank you for tuning in. Oh, your viewership always means so much to me. I appreciate that you take the time out of your day to watch me talk about whatever. You know, feel free to like this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want to. You can check me out on Facebook at Trev's TV. You can check me out on Instagram at Rockstar Trev TV. I got one more division left. And then I'm done with the division predictions. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a playoff prediction. Not at this point anyway. Maybe when we get close to the playoffs, but that's a different video for a different day. So in the meantime and in between time, I said it right. Later.